Hi, I'm Mike. Change is the name of the game when it comes to ranching. And that mantra holds true as we get to preg checking the cows, seeing who's pregnant and who's not. Also, we get to put on our thinking caps and solve problems on the fly, all with a little help from our friends. Come escape the ordinary today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Doesn't seem like much, but for some it's an adventure of a lifetime, and for others it can be an eye-opening experience, even for those that are raised around ranching and farming. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us today as we get a chance to take a look back at preg checking. It took place just a couple days ago. We had some special guests with us, and just like most every day on the ranch, we learned a lot. If you had a chance to join us live, thank you very much for coming along. We broadcast almost the entire experience live on our sister channel, Beyond the Ranch. Hi guys, and welcome to Preg Checking 2019. We had thousands of people watching and taking part in an experience that few ever actually get to ever see. We had folks asking questions the entire time, and of course, Aaron, was behind the camera trying to keep all the viewers in the action. Today, what you're gonna see and hear is the story of that day. There will be footage mixed from the live stream and other cameras that we had set up around the corrals. You're gonna get up close and personal with some of our favorite cows and learn their fate on the ranch. You're also gonna see how much of what we do on the ranch depends on improvisation and uh, thinking on our feet, but all of that is coming. For now, let's just take a look at getting ready for this shindig. As you may know, the ranch has been going through many changes this year. And as we come to the next big project on the ranch, we start to make even more. Preg checking is coming up tomorrow. And with that means that every single cow on the ranch has to come in and get an ultrasound, like a visit to the doctor more like a, a house call from the doctor. Each cow on the ranch will be visiting our clinic, and this year, that clinic is the inside of an AeroQuip portable chute. We've had this chute here on the ranch for the last couple of months, and we brought it here specifically for this purpose, preg checking. But we couldn't get, just let it sit around without using it, and we've had the chance to test it twice up to this point. Once in the configuration it was meant for, a portable chute, where we pulled it down the field about four miles from here and loaded it up with a couple of cows to bring home so they could meet their fans during this summer's ranch roundup. Then we set upon the business of taking what should be a portable corral system and forcing it into our existing wooden and permanent corrals. That turned out to be a bit more involved than we thought. And although it was tricky just to get it in place, we could also see the challenge would be how to get cows to the chute in the first place. We decided to test it on calves, and those calves were weaning off their moms and they needed vaccinations anyway. So we cobbled together an alley to bring them into the AeroQuip, and lo and behold, it worked pretty darn well. But we knew the real test was still coming. Moving cows might be a bit harder than convincing calves to go into the new system. Our cows have been here a while, they know how this stuff usually works. New environments are hard for them to cope with. And the best way that I can convey that experience to you is to compare it to when I stay in a hotel. New spaces, new sounds, even new smells mean that I know that I'm not gonna sleep well at all. But after just one night in that room, the next night, I know I'll sleep better until I can get home to my own bed, sounds and smells. The cow's home is the pasture. The corral is just like a hotel, one that they'll be staying in for just a few hours. The chute is our clinic. Moving cows into that clinic is a trick, and we start by removing some of our old corral, taking down a number of boards to create a new opening where the cows will move from corral into alley, taking them directly into the chute. With an approach to the AeroQuip tub alley and chute system complete, we can move some animals around to make room for the cows to come in. 
pigs get locked inside their accommodations where they can hang out for a bit. And the calves, who are currently residing where the cows will have to come through to get to their appointment, are moved into the pig's corral where they can squat for a day until we're done. But when it's time to really get to work, that's when we count on our friends to be there to help, including some very special help from AeroQuip itself. But it's not only AeroQuip who's here to help us out today, but with IMV Imaging, Jamie is here as well to train us further on the IMV ultrasound system, the EasyScan Go, a complete wireless bovine ultrasound solution for ranchers and farmers. And let's not forget subscribers here from Norco, California to give us an extra hand. Along with some of our local friends, we're here to help. many tools we need to keep us going. I'm going to show you something here really quick that we've been uh, toying around with and this is the Jackery power station and what this thing does is it's got it's basically a battery backup for everything that we're doing out here so we've got the iPad up there that we're using for preg check and this thing can supply power to that um, it also has a plug-in where we can plug in a solar panel uh, which uh, can recharge the whole thing. So it's actually very cool. It's called the Jackery Portable Power Station. And then we can plug it directly into this box, turn it on, and boom, we're charging. Eventually, we can begin bringing cows into our makeshift alley, loading them up into the tub, into the AeroQuip system, which then loads them into an alley and into the chute, where the magic can happen. The IMV technology allows us to use a probe to quickly determine if the cow is pregnant. If she is, she's moved back out to rejoin the herd. It doesn't take long to figure out, though, that there's a flaw in our design. The cows are hesitant to move up into our panel alley as they can see too much. There are too many people around and too much movement. And remember, this is all new. The cows are used to seeing just me out there with them most of the time. Bringing friends tips them off that something's afoot. And being a prey animal, it's just safer to leave this party before somebody gets hurt. But we have to get them in. And that's where we're lucky to have two of the best cattle handling equipment designers in the world right here on the ranch today. While most of us just stand back, we let Steve and Cody tackle the problem. And it's only a matter of minutes before they come up with a solution, but one that might just take a little longer to implement. It took me months to build these corrals. It took me an entire day to move this AeroQuip system into place where it is now. And now it's gonna take only a few minutes to reinvent the wheel. The tractor comes out and moves the entire system about eight feet backwards, requiring us to bring in panels to cover the gaps created at the head chute end of the system but also lining up the back of the chute with what was left of our original curved alley that was used to bring cows into our old system. Our Franken corrals are now even more cobbled together than ever, but they're beginning to work. The cows are now brought into the curved alley. Steve removes a few boards, and now the cows can see us as they move through. And by getting behind them, they're forced to move forward and into the AeroQuip, where once they land, they're brought back up and checked for pregnancy with the IMV Easy Go Ultrasound. What we're looking for is pretty simple, a calf. But just because you can't find a calf 
doesn't mean she's not pregnant. It's like a great game of hide and seek where you only get to look through a periscope where everything's backwards and upside down and covered in poop. But eventually I start to get the hang of it and so do the cows and so do those that are moving them. The whole system starts to run like a well-oiled machine. Cows are brought in, they move up, they're captured in the head gate where they get a shot, a vaccine called Cattle Master 4 plus VL5. That vaccine is administered to protect the cow against a number of viruses that could end her pregnancy, including bovine influenza and rhinotracheitis. Some of the vaccine will actually be passed along to her calf, which will make the first few weeks of his life a lot safer and healthier. Cows are also given a pour on medication, including a low dose of ivermectin. This prevents mites, fleas, and mange, along with a number of external internal parasites that during cold winter months are always looking for a nice warm place like a cow to hang out and lay eggs. Each cow exits the chute. We know who's pregnant and who's not. And as an added bonus, we know how far along they are, giving us a rough date of when they'll be giving birth to their cows. That's useful while checking cows during calving and can be a wonderful tool to know if you're wondering if a cow is in labor or not. Not every cow is happy to be here. Oh, she did not like getting a shot. And some handle the process better than others. We watch some cows come through and know that this process will begin their last days on the ranch and others where their future is guaranteed for at least another year. There are ones that we hate to see go and the others that we wish would, <laughs> but the ranch needs them and their calves. open. In the end, we have 16 empty cows. Not bad, considering we didn't get to preg check last year, and those 16 will help the ranch in one final way, as they head off to auction, where they'll be sold to feedlots, or maybe, we can hope, to other ranchers, where they'll be able to enjoy some more time on the prairie. The reality is that we can't afford especially this year, to feed a cow that isn't gonna produce a calf. Just as we all have a job on the ranch, they do too. And they've done it courageously and wonderfully for their entire time here. I have to thank our help during preg checking this year, Steve and Cody, who are here from AeroQuip. If you weren't here, we'd probably still be checking cows. And it's with their experience and know-how that we were able to come up with a quick and easy solution to moving the cows safely into the AeroQuip system. Safer for the cows and safer for us. Jamie with IMV Imaging shows us that cattle producers are able to do a lot more for themselves than maybe we give them credit for. John, our guy on the head shoot, well, he's seen a number of cows now right up close. And he did great. Catching those cows moving at full speed is never easy and being up front is the most stressful place to be on the crew. Just ask our buddy Bob. And of course, our pushers in the back. These guys are here every time we work cattle, and they put up with us greenhorns up front, rearranging deck chairs and plugging holes in from what their viewpoint probably looks like a sinking ship. Every time we work cattle, there's only one thing I worry about. It's not a cow getting through the chute or jumping a fence or even a cow that we love coming up not pregnant. The only thing I care about is making sure that everyone is safe and everybody goes home in one piece. Cows and us cowpokes. This year, we did good. 
Losing 16 cows from the herd might sound like a huge number. I guess it is. And it might not be enough. We only have so much food to feed them over the winter. And over the next few days, we're gonna be doing a lot of math to figure out how we sit and if more cows are gonna to have to be sold. I love working cattle. I love being around them. And I love seeing a system like the one here from AeroQuip that makes it easier on us and on the cows. Now we just have to get the rest of our corral system just as safe and as easy as the AeroQuip system. Just like you saw today, we know how to change on the fly and ranching and farming is always changing, hopefully for the better. Thanks for coming along today. I hope you can subscribe and stay with us as we continue along on this adventure and see where it takes us. In the meantime, we keep plugging along and keep pushing ourselves to be better. Better ranchers, better farmers, but most of all, better people. We'll see you next time. And until then, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.